YouTubers, I'm Angel, and this is What Did You Do Today? Today, I am making another meal from HelloFresh. I'll be making the pecan crusted trout with apple strudel salad and thyme roasted potatoes. So I've started some of the prep. I started, I um, preheated my oven to 450 and I was instructed to put the racks, one rack on the top shelf and the other one in the middle. So also what I've done, so that was start strong. Um, I've done some prep. I sliced the potatoes and I am now doing the time. So I want to show you how you take time off of the stem. So that's how thyme comes. It's very fragrant. I love thyme. So what you do is just pull it down away from, well, it's going this way. I was holding it the wrong way. You just pull it off. Oh, and the, the way it grows, you pull it down away from how it grows. And it comes right off if you're holding it the right way. <laughs> So we're gonna do this one. I need two teaspoons of chopped thyme, and then I'm gonna chop that up. I say I'm gonna, but I'm. That means in New York, that's I'm gonna is I'm going to. So, <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna I'm going going to do. Can't change who I am. All right. So I'm going to chop this up. I don't have two teaspoons yet, but I will pretty soon. So I'm going to set this aside just for a second so I can show you everything that came in the bag. So this is the bag. All these ingredients, it says, it says cook this one first, make first. So I'm going to show you everything that came in this bag, what didn't come in the bag, and what I have in the refrigerator. So the direction said I needed two bacon pans and I like my glass bacon pans. So I have thyme, I have the pecan pieces, I have an apple, I have some mayo, uh oh, I forgot a potato, but that's a good thing because now you can see how these, I think these are our Yukon gold, that's what they look like. I'll have to make, check and make sure. This is some panko. Panko is a Japanese breadcrumb. I have some Dijon mustard. I like Dijon mustard. I don't like regular yellow mustard, but I do like Dijon mustard. And I especially like Dijon honey mustard. Uh-oh, what? Honey. <laughs> So that's pretty awesome. I have a lemon and I have some triple wash power for mixed greens blend. And I can tell you that there's spinach in here. Uh, there's maybe arugula in here and quite possibly regular letters. I don't think it is if it's a mixed power. But I'm not sure exactly and I don't want to tell you. But it doesn't matter because I like greens. So what's not in here? I Butter. The recipe called for butter. So this is a tablespoon of butter. I'm letting it get room, uh, room temperature. Um, the recipe also called for olive oil. This is olive oil. This is EDOO, which is extra virgin olive oil. Okay. It called also for vegetable oil, but I'm using my avocado oil because that's what I like. Um, it called for black pepper. I am using black pepper, but I'm not a fan of this kind of black pepper. I really prefer fresh ground, but I'm going to do it as the recipe says. Um, and it also called for kosher salt, but I am going to use one of my gourmet black um, salt. So it is a, a, a natural salt and I've ground it in my mortar and pestle. And I'll show you what a mortar and pestle is. 
This is a mortar and pestle. So you take what you have and you just grind it. So I digress, but I just wanted you to know what that was. Alright, so now I am going to do some, I'm going to slice this potato and I'm going to uh, chop up the earth. I'm just going to show you really quickly. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to mince. So, take your knife. On the board, you put your fingers at the end of the board, three fingers to keep the to keep the knife steady. You hold the grip the, the the handle of the knife like this, and you put your thumb on the the base of it, the neck of the knife, to keep it steady. Now you put this here. You have your what you're gonna chop or mince here, and you just. Let the knife do the work. Then you bring it together because it will get away from you. Whatever you're chopping will get away from you. Now, I learned how to do this when I was about nine. My grandmother loved to cook. She was able to cook everything. And so she showed me how to cook. I got in the kitchen with her. And the first thing I learned how to mince was onions and then I learned how to mix and slice garlic so I'm going to show you what it looks like and then I'm going to finish uh, taking the rest off so I was pretty excited at the fact that I could do that and I it got so that I could mix stuff up almost to a powder so I'm pretty proud of my mincing ability abilities. So that's one of the things she she taught me, and I take a great pride in in doing that and doing it well. So, all right. So this is this is it now. Very fine mince. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to. Peel that off because I have probably one teaspoon now and I need two teaspoons. So I'm going to slice the potato and then finish mincing this and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is to finally chop the pecans. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, I am a master chopper, but... With pecans, you have to take it easy because they will fly all over the place. You may have noticed that I'm now sitting. Well, if you watch my earlier videos, you'll know that I got my stitches out today. So, my foot still hurts. So, I'm trying to take it easy. Okay, in addition to chopping these, I'm also going to use the smash method, the smash method, which now that I've got them at a manageable size, I'm going to take my knife and lay it flat and just smash them. finely chopped. I'm going to put them in my little ramekin. You 
You want to get them as much as you can. In fact, everything that you slice or dice or mince or chiffonade, you want to get everything to um, a really as consistent as possible, so that you uh, so that it cooks, especially when you're cooking something, um, so that it all cooks at the same pace. Because bigger pieces will cook slower, and smaller pieces will cook faster. And even when you're not cooking stuff, it's it's best to do it that way so that you, um, for presentation, things look pretty when they're uniform. All right, so now the next step is, and I'm gonna come over here so you guys can see. Sorry, baby. If my dog would just get out of the way, he would be okay. And I wasn't trying to run. All right, I'm gonna save the rest of my sprigs because time is good. Okay. All right, so now I'm ready for the potatoes. And the recipe says, to lightly oil a bacon sheet, so. That's what I'm going to do before I put the potatoes in the shit, in the, in the, with, it didn't say which oil, but I'm going to use my olive oil. I might have needed a bigger pan and I have bigger pans, but no, I think that's perfect. So, and then toss potatoes on sheet with the drizzle of oil. It doesn't say which one. It's not being very specific. Okay, I can't use this one because I'm going to have to uncork it now. But luckily I have another one of these and I'll just put my avocado. I'll have to label it. So... I'll put my olive oil in there, and then I'll put my thyme. It says half the chopped thyme. Okay, and the salt and the pepper. This black salt is so good, guys. I got some gourmet salt. My friends know that I love gourmet salt, so they um, give me gourmet salt. So a friend of mine gave me some gourmet salt for a gift. And, man, I'm not that crazy about this pepper. But, all right. Anyway. I am going to toss them. I'm a hands-on kind of girl, but I'm going to try to use utensils. My hands are clean, I promise. The only thing on my hands are vegetables and herbs. So I'm going to toss these, and then I'm going to put... I'm making a very conscious effort to use all of the syllables in those um, three words. Ah! Yeah, all right. Looks like it needs some more stuff, but I'm gonna go with what the recipe says. So, I'm gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes. It says 20 to 25, excuse me, excuse me. For 20 to 25 minutes. I'll start the trout in 12, but I'm going to stick to what they said. You know what? I'm going to cut that. If I'm starting the trout in 12 minutes, I'm going to set my, my clock for 12 minutes, and then I'll set it for another 12. So, my timer.
pre-recorded